Hello and welcome to Treble D. Treble D is a 3D design system that helps people create their own unique home using SketchUp. In this video we'll provide a quick overview of the Treble D system to show how it works. Treble D is made up of modules, which is a fancy word for rooms. The modules are grouped into four distinct areas or showrooms. The process is quite simple. You select the modules you like, drag and drop them onto the grid, then fine tune them any way you wish. Just above the Treble D screen you can see these scene tabs. They allow you to jump around from place to place in SketchUp as if you're holding a camera. Scenes are basically saved camera locations. If we take a look at the live and kitchen scene, we can see an assortment of living rooms, dining rooms and kitchens to choose from. Then we have bed and baths which contains a variety of bedrooms and bathrooms. The next scene is walk and roof. This area includes circulation spaces such as stairs and entrances and there's also various roof styles to choose from. And finally we have the Miss and Out scene, which stands for miscellaneous objects and outbuildings. It includes garages, a pool and some extra stuff. To help explain the other scenes we'll just jump over to a finished model. So this is the famous Treble D Beach House A. The model scene shows all the Treble D modules that we use to create the beach house. Treble D has been set up so that when you drag a module into place it will automatically appear in the appropriate scene. So there's scenes showing 3D views of different floor levels, level 1 and level 2 and we have floor plans for each level. Treble D floor plans are automatically generated by the 3D model. It's all done automatically as you create it. And we have a scene that shows only the roof to make it easier to work on and also a present scene for 3D presentation. You can take a look at the Treble D Beach House tutorials for detailed info on all these other scenes. In SketchUp we use layers to organise a model. If you take a closer look at a module we can see how Treble D layers go together. If we double click on the module we can open it up and see the various layers. There's furniture, text, fixtures and fittings, walls and floors are on a layer called shells and doors and windows are embedded inside the shells layer. We can use this floating layers menu to turn the layers on or off. If we turn off just about everything, we can see the grid and the guide post. That's these pale yellow things with an X on top. Guide posts are embedded into each module. They help us to move things around easily, which allows the modules to connect and interact with each other accurately. You'll be given various options for getting started in SketchUp. We recommend the large toolbox. You can find it under View toolbars and select large tool set rather than the getting started tool set. You can move the tool set around by grabbing these white dots. You can drag it around, place it on the left. Adjust the size if you wish. Personally I put it on top and just take it up to the top of the screen and it docks itself into place. I normally have the Entity Info box open and the Layers box open all the time. You can find them under the Windows tab. You can just adjust the box size to whatever you like. 
I normally just dock them in the top right corner. If we click through the scenes in Treble D, we can see that there's a, a quick transition between each scene. By default, SketchUp will move the camera gradually from one scene to another. This is called a, a transition. But if it's making you a bit seasick while you're working, you can disable the transition. You go to Window, Model Info, and uncheck this box that says Enable Scene Transition. So please feel free to take a look at the Beach House tutorial and take it for a run. It's a lot of fun. Cheers.